Salutations. Man, it's cold today. It got up to a whole 10 degrees. What I wanted to talk about is something that is correlated to the last video I just did, did a few days ago, which was over jumping entities, all right? Not just can entities jump in front of our field of awareness like we discussed there, which is beings to jump in your field of awareness and expand your perception, okay? They also can jump into people we know and start acting, making people saying things that they don't even know that they're aware of okay let's cross that over into electronics this is very very i think um relevant right now because i just got through talking to a friend yesterday who was saying he's uh religious he's really into the uh the christian religion i believe and um he was talking about how he thinks the new antichrist is actually technology so i think it kind of ties in a little bit but concerning this is we have entities that can jump into electronics the same way they jump into people or jump into our field of awareness. They jump into electricity, electronics, and they can travel through it, okay? They can manifest through it. They can come out of electricity, uh, come out of devices just as they go in. And we also have a host of entities that are attached to that as well. Let's say like, for example, we're dealing with energy fields. On Facebook, the like situation. You can put a like on somebody's deal or they can put a like on yours and this is getting your energy fields entangled. So there are entities that are doing that also, okay? So be aware of the likes in that type of a deal. If it's somebody you don't like or they've got a ne negative vibe and there's somebody liking your stuff, that's the very way of them starting to ensnare you to put little holes in your energy field. So that's another way to think about this. And this takes us a little bit into that theory of the electric universe. I don't totally prescribe to that, but that is a fact, a part of our universe. And I think it's worthy of thinking how it's been proven that orgone, life energy, and electricity have a kind of uh, conflicting uh, relationship, all right? It's very um, not, it's uh, combustible. So that's one way to view that also. Um, I've noticed that some of the entities I've dealt with that were inorganic also had a type of a static electricity to them and you kind of feel that when they're around even if they're non-corporeal you feel a type of a type of static electricity so i think that takes us a lot into the beings that are from like the electrical universe or their life force is electrical like that has a lot to do with what we're dealing with here um make sure i nailed all this um uh these electromagnetic we waves we're dealing with all right uh, that's just something to be aware of. Be aware of the sex that they use through cyberspace. Sex is a big one. They hook you with sex. That comes through very clearly electronics. These websites, you've got entities that are building emotions, building feel, feelings, and they're feeding on that, all right? So that's just one way to be aware of how the entities that are manifesting through electronics and through um, digital, all right? And right now we're at a place in our evolution where we're starting to combine organic parts with circuitry. Once that happens and we start getting a different type of AI, even more advanced than the AI we're not hearing about now, that's when we start really getting to that Terminator, Skynet type of stuff. But this is real. We're dealing with uh, potential um, intelligence that can do self-replication and self-repairing. Just want to throw that out there. Just be aware of how electronics can also ensnare you and trap you and how these entities are using that for possession and for trapping and creating holes in people's energy fields. Please subscribe to me on Patreon. Please subscribe here on YouTube if you like these videos. Thank you for the Patreon people. That's the only reason I'm still making videos on either part. So much power. Peace.